Welcome to another Mystery Monday. Today we got ourselves a mystery pack coming right off of eBay. It costs a total of 50 bucks. I like to stay on the $50 margin because, well, I feel like that leads for a pretty good mystery pack and you didn't spend a whole lot, lot of money if you end up busting. So let's go ahead, open this up and see what we got for 50 bucks. Now, this is going to be a little difficult to open because uh, the guy had uh, my name and contact and other stuff on the other side. So, um, I don't really know if... Okay, I am going to be able to peel this off. Oh, right, that comes off actually a lot easier than I feel like it should have. So, in this mystery box, the guy didn't really say in the descriptions what exactly you're going to be getting. He said, you're obviously... He said... It said he said, she said, whatever. It says that you're gonna get a couple of Pokemon packs along with a slab. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see if we get some good packs or if we get some not so minty fresh packs. Hopefully they're not Wade. Hopefully they're not battle styles cause you all know how I feel about battle styles. It ain't that good a set for me. And let's hope in that the slabs are something decent. So I am gonna like take this and open it off camera just cause I don't wanna see where anyone lives, where anyone knows where I live. So um, yeah, just gonna uh, take it and flip it like that. And there we go. All right, so right back onto it. It looks like you get a total of one, two, three, four, five packs. And there's actually two slabs in here. So it says you're only supposed to get one. So I don't know if it was a mistake or what really, but we're gonna go ahead and find out. So let's see what pack number one holds in store for us. I'll keep it right there so you guys can see. Pack number one is going to be a sun and moon base set. Off to a pretty good start, off to a pretty good start. Can't really complain, I do like sun and moon base set. The base set series, I feel like hasn't been that good in a while. Scarlet and Violet, meh. Sword and Shield, Eh, they got the big boy Snorlax. Sun and Moon, eh, they don't really have anything. Black and White was okay, nothing spectacular. Diamond and Pearl I really did enjoy, but other than that, every base set series after Diamond and Pearl really wasn't that good. They really haven't been putting any hitters in here. So I do kind of hope in the next Pokemon series, they do kind of have um a, the set that like is like whoa that's really good like all the other sets you guys are also gonna have to forgive me on my voice uh these allergies are killing me also my mind's a little thrown off i forgot to say if you like to support my channel and you love the videos that i do please go ahead smash that like button subscribe if you're not a subscriber already hit that notification button so you know whenever i post an awesome video and comment down below what you think of this mystery pack do you think it was worth 50 bucks or do you think i got scammed and straight up ripped off so we're going with a water energy because i feel like sun and moon I was gonna say, I feel like Sun and Moon is kind of like the water energy set, but it's not. Psychic energy. All right, my psychic abilities say, we're gonna, we're gonna make our money back. We are making our monies back. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Rotom Dex, Passing Mom, Passing, I also can't talk that well. These allergies are murdering me. I don't know if you guys have allergies or anything, but this allergy season, oh my gosh, I don't get allergies. So when I have allergies, you know it's bad, but these are killing me. All right, reverse hollow hypno. Can we start this off strong? I don't think I've ever had a strong start to a mystery box, but we're gonna try to start off with this hit, which is ah, non hollow rare but that's okay we have a total of one two three four more packs so pack number two is going to be another sun and moon i think they're all sun and moon base set okay so should i just nah keep it going i think they're all sun and moon base set but we'll figure that out as we get this going so sun and moon base set you know is not ten dollars a pack Sun and Moon base set, you can definitely buy off eBay right now for $6 a pack. So six times five is only about 30 bucks. Not about, it is 30 bucks. So those two uh, slabs, I am hoping, have at least a $10 price tag each. 
we're gonna go ahead and guess a grass energy cause that is what my channel is all about grass types boom steel energy literally the absolute epitome of worst luck i can possibly get here we go steel energy nest ball rotom dx cherubug eevee dupider poliwag paris chin chuyo chin Ch told you i cannot talk because of my allergies Reverse Hollow Potion. I keep going like Trainer Gallery, but then there's no Trainer Galleries at this time. And we got our set. Let's go. Sun and Moon, you're good to me. This Sun and Moon is actually the first first set I ever opened up that got me my first ever Rainbow Rare. I think this might be another. What do we got? We got... No, it's not a Rainbow Rare. 148 of 149. It is a full art. Looks like a trainer full art. I don't think it's a Pokemon. I think it's a trainer. Who's it gonna be? Professor? No. Who are you? Yeah, Professor. Yep, Professor. Hey, we got ourselves a full art Professor card. Get this bad boy in a quick sleeve. So, one for two. I'll take that. Especially off of a mystery pack. I will take that. One hit. Three packs to go. Let's get a little tapping in there. Because if you don't tap them home, then you never know. They might just run away. All right, here we go. Put that off to the side now. Pack number three. I think it's going to be a sun and moon. But let's go ahead and see that it is a sun and moon base set yet again. The back of the other packs look exactly like sun and moons. So I'm just going to go ahead and confirm in my own mind that these are all sun and moon. Four cards to the front. We're going with a fire energy. We got another psychic energy. All right, my psychic prediction is we're gonna get another hit out of here. Now, my psychic prediction is the one of the slabs is gonna be an absolute banger. That's my prediction. Let's go and see what we can get. What is that on there? Anyone else see that? It's like a green dot on there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Here we go. Pinsar, Ultra Ball, Bulldor, Relith, Circuit, Famentus, Moralugo, Sandigas, Reverse Hollow Persian, and we got ourselves a boss. Wow, the exact same non-hollow rare as the first pack. That's a little painful. Okie dokie then. Next and fourth pack is going to be a Sun and Moon. All right. I think I'm confirming with myself that um these are all going to be Sun and Moon packs. So, yeah. <coughs> oh, I almost looked. All right. I'm going to go ahead and predict and say we got ourselves a Water Energy. I feel like I haven't got a Water Energy in forever. Lightning energy, the polar opposite of what you want if you're in water, is thunder. So, let's hope that doesn't precurse what this pack is going to be. Hopefully something better than my luck on guessing the energies. Reverse Hollow Dragonair. I really need that Reverse Hollow Dragonite. But it's okay, because we got ourselves a rare, which is going to... B, A, non hollow rare gold duck. Jeez. We are not doing so good with these mystery packs. All right, let me just make sure this isn't like the card is. Okay. Oh, it's a monograded card. All right. I just dropped the pack on here. The pack's going to be sun and moon. I'm not even going to like be like, oh, it's going to be because it's sun and moon. All right, so we got two, well, I know this one is monograded. Nah, I'm not gonna look. I was gonna say two monograds, but obviously I don't know what the second one is. So like, I'm assuming it's just monograde because the top one's monograde. So I think any other one will be. They're a pretty good card grading company. I say they're pretty reputable. They're not like top tier, but they're not like bottom of the barrel either. They're somewhere around the higher middle. So if you ever want to use monograding, I would definitely use them. We got ourselves 
I'm gonna go grass energy because we haven't gotten a grass energy in forever. And it is, wow, slap to the face. Thank you, water energy. All right, last pack magic. Let's see what we can get. Water energy. I'm drawing an absolute blank on how to say his name. Arquanin, I, I don't know, I'm drawing a blank. Nest Ball, Poliwhirl, Cutie Fly, Drag T uh, Dratini, Sparrow, Psyduck, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Pinsir. Has that ever happened, you guys? You're going through your Pokemon cards, say names, and you're just like, and duh, like you just absolute mind fart. <laughs> All right, last chance for something amazing. Here we go. We got ourselves last pack magic before we see what the slabs are going to be. And we got ourselves oh, a non hollow beware. So we went one, four, five on those packs, which honestly is a lot better than what people can say. So this one is a monograde, and I want to make sure the other one's upside down. It is upside down. And the other one is a monograde at what as well. So I don't know what side the grade is on. So I'm hoping it's on this side. On this side? No, this side. Yeah, when I flip it. Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping it's on this side. I have no idea. So I might ruin it, but we're gonna show what the card is. Then we're gonna show what the grade is. Don't forget, this mystery box costs fifty dollars. We got five packs of Sun and Moon base set. That e equals out to about. 30 bucks, so we're $20 shy of getting our money back. So these two slabs need to be worth at least $10 each. And the first slab is going to be not exactly the prime selection that I was hoping. We only have a Hat Arena, the promo card from Champion's Path. And the grade is going to be what I'm hoping is a 10. Okay, it is the other side. Oh, it comes with subgrades. Centering is a 10. Edges are, a t I'm sorry, centering is an eight. Edges are a 10. Corners are a 10. Surface is a 9.5. I'm gonna guess and say this is probably about a nine. Okay, 9.5, I was close enough. All right, not exactly what we wanted, but still a pretty cool high up there mint card. So maybe like five bucks, maybe. So we're at $35. Here's hoping that this, card that I'm looking at um I don't know if you guys can see but this card there's literally a giant rip right there the top is literally shredded the edges the edge is literally gone like there is no edge on this at all it is gone completely shredded up top edge is gone edge is gone Edge is like 99% gone. Wow. Why would this be in a mystery pack? Oh, and there's another rip right there. Okay, so this is going to be a one. Whatever it is. If it's a base set Charizard Hollow, that'd be pretty dope. But whatever this is going to be, it's going to be a one. I can almost guarantee it's going to be a one. All right. We got ourselves a... Base set Squirtle. Wow. Was not expecting a beat up base set card like that. Okay, that one hurts. That one hurts. All right, the grade. Let's see what it's going to be. Centering's a nine. Edges are a three. I would have given edges a one. Surface is a 1.5. The corners are an eight. Bro. How are the corners an eight? How? Yo, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. The corners are like a zero. How are you giving them an eight? They're ripped to shreds. That's bad, that's bad. All right, overall grade, centering and corners are, I don't know how the corners are, but those are high grades. So I'm gonna say a four, maybe a five, four and a half. I'm gonna go four and a half is the grade. We got ourselves a base set two, base set two damaged Squirtle and a 9.5 Hatterina promo from Champion's Path. So we got these two cards, slabs, 
plus five pro plus five packs of Sun and Moon base set for fifty bucks. This seller is going to go onto my do not buy from list. I do understand mystery packs. The other person has to make some money on it. But uh, when you throw stuff like this in here, it's a little painful. I don't ever leave bad reviews. I just don't buy from the person again. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Everyone who came out to my live this past Friday, I have everything shipped out for you later on today. And I'll give you all the tracking with it. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notifications on, and comment down below what you thought of today's mystery box that was bought off of ebay have a great rest of your day everyone and we'll catch you in the next video but do let me know what do you think of this mystery box am i underselling it was it better than what it is or is my hammer hitting the nail spot on and saying that this is not a good mystery box let me know in the comments down below